Thank you, Steve. New at 6, the man convicted of killing a Providence police detective with his own service weapon is going to federal court to try and get a new trial. Esteban Carpio is currently serving a life sentence for Detective James Allen's murder more than a decade ago. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with more on Carpio's latest appeal. Caroline. Well, Shannon, in this 15-page court document, Carpio asked the court to vacate his conviction and grant him a new trial. Another attempt by a convicted Rhode Island cop killer to clear his name. Esteban Carpio is currently serving life without parole in a Connecticut prison. He was found guilty for the 2005 murder of Providence Police Detective James Allen. Every day I face the facts of what I did and what happened. In this latest filing, Carpio claims the state denied him due process during that trial. He says he was suffering from mental illness and lacked criminal responsibility when he killed Detective Allen inside police headquarters. He also claims his trial lawyer wasn't familiar with state law, proving ineffective counsel. But this isn't the first time he's attempted to appeal his conviction. According to documents, he filed an appeal and an application for post-conviction relief in 2012. Both were denied. The murder of my husband was a cold and deliberate action. The jury found that Esteban Capia was not insane at the time of the crime. During his trial in 2006, two expert witnesses said Carpio was suffering from schizophrenia at the time of the killing and couldn't be held responsible. But the state's witnesses said the man was an antisocial criminal. The jury rejected the insanity defense and convicted Carpio of first-degree murder. Now he hopes to see the courtroom once again. And we have reached out to the Attorney General's office regarding this recent filing. They said they aren't ready to comment just yet. We've also reached out to Providence Police, but we haven't heard back yet. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Gage, Eyewitness News.